Director General and that report are shedding light on some shocking numbers when it comes to child deaths and serious injuries within that very system. Yeah, those numbers nearly double what they were last year, and now a handful of these incidents will be investigated. 1011 Samantha Burnt joins us live in the newsroom tonight to break down some of what was discovered. Sam? In her 81 page report, Inspector General Jennifer Carter says the increasing rates of child deaths and serious injuries are concerning, but she tells me it's unclear if it's a trend represents a systemic issue or if it's just a tragic case of more children dying and being injured this year than in years prior. That is part of our job to figure out. And the other part of our job is to continue to monitor it. For the 2023-2024 fiscal year, 21 child deaths were reported to the OIG. In 2022 to 2023, there were 11. Carter says while the number of child deaths is alarming, not all of them were children and families that DHHS was working with. Three of them were caused by abuse and neglect, but DHHS didn't know the families prior to the death. Three deaths will be investigated because the child was either in the system or in a DHHS facility. Eight died from medical issues or accidents, and seven deaths involved co-sleeping or unsafe sleep practices. We'd never had this number of unsafe sleep deaths reported to us. As for serious injuries, 27 were reported in 2023 to 2024. There were just 15 in the year before. Seven of those injuries were caused by suspected abuse and neglect, but again, DHHS didn't know the family beforehand. 11 injuries were not the result of abuse or neglect, and eight will be investigated by the OIG as the child was either in the child welfare system or in a DHHS facility. Another issue, the YRTC in Kearney saw a large increase in assaults on staff and youth. Carter says the majority of the serious assaults were done by the same five youth. The report shows there was also a significant increase in self-harm incidents at the YRTC in Hastings, with a total of 220. There were just 59 the year before. Across all the YRTCs in the state, Carter says there was an increase in the use of hand or leg cuffs. The YRTCs have a very challenging job, and I think these numbers are reflecting that um, and telling me that they're having to deal with some significant behaviors. Also of note, Carter tells me that there has been a slight decrease in the number of sexual abuse allegations by state wards. There were 244 allegations in 2023 to 2024, down from 271 the year before. However, the number of substantiated cases rose to 14 compared to six last year. Reporting in the newsroom, Samantha Burnt, 1011 News.